So like his name was and he was super hot like he was fine and big this papi could take you out you know what i mean mm. he was an actor for tv it had been years since i made love with anyone he told me i was full for considering to wait two weeks i did not like this but I was starting to feel like a dried out apricot, so I decided to let it slide by, as they say. We have intercourse. He's a musician, it kind of looks like a skunk, but whatever, I was intrigued. Literally, on our first date, he tells me that he's not only an alcoholic, but he's also a sex addict, and that his therapist told him that we couldn't sleep together for three months. I mean, that's a lot to handle. We get coffee. Totally hit it off. He offers to make me dinner back at his place. I say fine. I mean, I saw the kid's Instagram. He's got a legit six pack. What ha happened was, he tells me how much he paid for his condo. 550K. Y porque I didn't say nothing, he looks at me, dumb face, and he goes, K means a thousand. Like I didn't know that. How long must this last to be considered sex? It was perhaps two minutes when he make groan sound like, like a dying goat, rolls over and complains that was like doing 10 minute push up weakling. 11 weeks later, he's like, okay, time's almost up. Like, you need to go on birth control. And I'm like, um, hold up. Wait, what? I specifically only buy organic. Do you really think that I'm gonna pump myself full of hormones every day? No. So we're at the supermarket, picking up produce together. It's all very domesticated. And he says, let's get a cart. So I follow him to the front of the store where the carts are kept, except he keeps walking with all our items, just right out through the front doors, into the parking lot, to his car. He's stealing all the food. I let him kiss me porque I hadn't kissed anybody in a minute, but then he grabs my thigh and he tells me he's got a big dick. Mm. And that the, the bar we are at is connected to his condo. Like, I don't get it, bro, you live at the mall? Second time we make love, again, his pin is not very strong. I grow very bored, uh, spend time thinking about expired visa situation, when abruptly he stops again. He tells me my facial expressions distract him. Never have I heard such thing. Very poor stamina. And I'm like, um, no, you can use condoms. And he's like, no, you can do the rhythm method. And I'm like, ah, uh, what? Like 40, no. Okay, no. Do you want to be my baby daddy like tomorrow? Because my gynecologist says I have a beautiful cervix and that I'm highly fertile. And he said yes. So we get back to his place. He tells me the lines were just too long. He didn't feel like waiting. Whatever. So we start making out. It's getting hot and heavy. I'm about to give in and f*** this guy. So, you know, I put on the brakes. Tell him very kindly. It's time I gotta get going. Kid bursts into tears. Literally, I'm talking like a Full on meltdown. By now he knows he's not going to get it, but he's on the ground, on his knees, begging me to go upstairs with him. Homie turns off super quick. I should have known better than trust men who wear skinny jeans. <laughs> we broke up literally four days before the three month mark. I don't regret it. He's sobbing, like straight sobbing. He's hysterical, like a three year old. Tells me he has abandonment issues, his parents neglected him as a child. I gotta stay. So I do. Sex was decent. How creepy are you, bro? <laughs> 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 <laughs>